Hi, with another edition of the WCAT News, I'm Hannah McEachern. In this week's show, we'll take a look back at our fall sports teams and update you on what you need to do if you plan on playing sports this winter. We'll hear from the school nutritionist about the meal options we have for lunch, find out about the cookie bake-off that will be held during parent-teacher conferences, See what Ms. Monahan's class has been doing to help promote Small Business Saturday. The fall sports season is winding down and our Weymouth student athletes competed hard again this season. Both the girls and boys soccer teams made it into the postseason tournament. The boys team led by team captain Jake Lovely ran into a tough BC High team and was knocked out in the first round play. The girls soccer team led by Captain Abby Bell made it to the second round before losing a tough game to Needham. The girls cross country team had great success thanks to strong leadership from Captains Ashley Betts, Lauren Jensen and Sam Pelly. the team ended up undefeated in the league and finished second in the MIAA Division I East Cross Country Championship. The boys cross country team and golf team and girls volleyball team all represented Weymouth well and displayed Weymouth pride throughout the season. The football team ends the fall season with the annual Thanksgiving Day game at home this year. The Wildcats will be playing the Walpole Rebels at 10 a.m. Tickets are on sale at the athletic office for only $4. Be sure to get your tickets before the end of school on Wednesday because ticket prices jump to $8 if you want to get them at the gate. Bring plenty of warm clothes and your school spirit by wearing maroon and gold. And as our winter sports season fast approaches, it is very important to remember to register for your winter sports team on Family ID by Monday, December 1st. You must be sure to have a current physical in place by that date as well. If you don't have a physical and register, you will not be able to try out on the first day, which is also December 1st. Recently, we caught up with Melissa Prisby, the nutritionist from Chartwells, to learn about the new lunch options. Hi, my name is Melissa Prisby. I am the registered dietitian with Chartwells, the school district's food service company. And I am here as the school district's nutrition resource. And today we're going to go over what makes a lunch. With Chartwells, we have a few different lunch stations. One of them is called Play Bowl, where you can get the main lunch entree. And that switches up every day. The other stations are Crust and Stuff, where you can get a pizza slice of pizza and that is served every day along with the deli station where you can get turkey, ham, and cheese sandwiches. We also offer a salad bar where you can grab a salad with different types of protein and vegetables and at the very end we have grab a stack where you can get a chicken patty, hamburger, and cheeseburger. The most important thing to remember is that in order to have a full and well-rounded lunch, you must take at least three different food groups. So grab your entrees, grab your pizza, grab a sandwich, and then as a side, you always have to at least have a half a cup of fruit or vegetables, and then one other food group, and that can be your milk. So we purposely set up a apple at the lunch at the end of the cashier, so you can always grab that for a quick side. And that is what makes your lunch. Be sure to take advantage of all the nutritious options we have here at lunch. We'll be checking in with Ms. Prisby again in later weeks. Next, we hear from Victoria Ang as she tells us about the Cookie Bake Off. The 9th Annual Weymouth High School Cookie Bake Off will be held on Monday, the 24th, the evening of the parent-teacher conferences from 6 to 8 p.m. It will be a fun way to show off your baking skills and raise money for the class of 2016. Setup will begin at 5.30 and the tasting with judges will begin at 6. Winners will be announced at the end of the conference. There is no minimum amount of cookies that must be submitted to the Cookie Bake Off eligible for prizes, but it is recommended that each entry plan on submitting a few dozen cookies. The more cookies you submit, the more chances people have of voting for your cookies to win a prize. Ballots will be available for the purchase of $3. There is no registration fee, but if you wish to sign up, come to room 125 or contact Mr. Rand at nathan.rand at weymouthschools.org. 
This weekend, Weymouth is celebrating Small Business Saturday on the 29th. The Marketing Decade class has been working to promote the day and the businesses in our community. Small Business Saturday was created four years ago and is supported and promoted by American Express. Each Saturday after the huge Black Friday sales, we're asked to give back to our community and shop at our local small businesses. Here in Weymouth, we have plenty of small businesses that we can support. From Bob's Muffin Shop in South Weymouth to Nico's in Jackson Square, there are plenty of restaurants and stores that are family owned and need our support to survive. This upcoming Saturday, the Marketing Decker class urges you to go out and support our local businesses here in town. Good morning, Eye Opener! We are the Marketing Decker class of Weymouth High School. And we want everyone to participate in Small Business Saturday. This Saturday, November 29th. Think big and shop small for all of your holiday gifts this weekend. Get up early to catch Mrs. Monahan's class on Channel 5's Wake Up Call. After spending boatloads of money at the South Shore Plaza on Friday, stick close to home and celebrate Small Business Saturday to the fullest. For all of us here at the WCAT, I'm Hannah McEachern. Thanks for watching, have a great week, and have an awesome Thanksgiving holiday.